So about 15 minutes ago, I got this call uh, from the BBB and uh, Better Business Bureau, and it turns out um, the jackass contractor that I hired, uh, he had submitted a check, but he won't break it down so that I actually have access to some of it so I can um, hire a new contractor and um, give the guy, you know, a deposit to uh, cover the cost of materials, um, to break down this shit of a ceiling over there in the kitchen. Um, it's full of cracks and bumps and humps and Lord knows what else. Um, it's not only in the kitchen, it's down the hall, the bedroom, the bathroom. Um, nothing but cracks. Uh, so now I've got to go on to plan B and um, oh, I, you know, I've been dealing with this shit for almost a year. Um, really regret hiring this asshole. Like he, um, I mean, there was all the signs there at first, you know, refused to give me a contract. I actually had to make up a contract and then I had to chase him down to sign the contract. Um, uh, he wouldn't show me receipts. Uh, he was just basically just full of bullshit all the way through. And um, so I end up, uh, at the end, I end up uh, filing a, beef, uh, a case against him and... Um, uh, all the way through that even he lied he uh, he didn't realize that you know with regards to the electrical he was trying to say well uh, at first he said yes it's exactly what, you know what Judy said um, all I did was switch out 38 light switches and, and plugs outlets and um, the reason for the high cost of $4,600 was because you know it was a bid and uh, that you know, other things might have come out. He goes, uh, when we opened it up, though, he goes, it was um, copper wiring, so nothing needed to be done. I says, well, no, it wasn't copper, it's aluminum. And um, all the way through, he, he kept saying, well, no, what we actually did was we, uh, we pigtailed um, uh, copper to aluminum. So I ended up pulling a switch and taking a really couple of clear photographs of that, and I sent that to the arbitrator, and... Um, uh, end up getting um, more than I asked for which is good now I can actually get that work done and uh, but it's I guess it's just a matter of um, trying to come up with some bucks and uh, you know so I can get this work started get the work finished um, get this jackass out of my my life I, I really feel like swearing right now I'm just really holding back <laughs> I'm, I'm not a vengeful person but uh, yeah I am uh, what I did was um, even before the arbitration case started I started reviewing his company online and they weren't positive reviews they were honest reviews uh, of course that pissed them off um, thing is I'm just going to keep on keeping on and uh, eventually this work will get done I've, I've got a really great guy that um, I hired in the summertime to do uh, give me on my sh on my workshop, and he's he's very very particular. He's very fussy about the, the work that he he does. He's um I guess basically he's he's proud of the kind of work that he can um put out there. So I'm glad glad that I met him and um uh, gonna have him to uh, redo this work. Anyways uh. A little bit pissed off right now, but I shall release it and I shall prevail. Uh, I shall get through this day and maybe you know, may maybe take you know five minutes. I'll go and have, make myself a cup of tea or something and uh, just totally chill out. So, anyways, word to the wise: do not hire contractors, even if they have BBB accreditation, because it means shit. Peace out.